ride, which was a flume ride that you actually went in a raft. And that's where we added our family raft ride that we will see. And then we added the other two slides over here, uh, which actually is a complex that has six slides on it. So we have that, we have an expanded cabana area where we added 20 cabanas into the park and expanded midway, grass, seating areas, a lot of stuff that's on there. You'll have it on your fact sheet, but if you have questions, I can go more specifically. No, I, again, I, as we walk through, we'll just answer any questions you may have. Clearly, we're very excited. Uh, as we walk through, you'll see uh, a lot of new throughout the entire park. We painted most of our attractions, got, got a new coat, new floorings. Uh, the expansion of the Longboards restaurant is very exciting. Guests will be able to get out of the sun while they're in line, get in some air conditioning for a little while, and uh, increase the capacities. But again, as we get out there, we'll talk further on that. So we'll go ahead and go in. First place we're going to go is through the new entrance park. Uh, one of the things that our guests made comments of as they were parking out here is where was the water park? Yeah. So we actually have put this sign up. It will have a Not Soap City logo above there as we go through. One of the other things we've done is we rechanged the whole path to make it an actual entrance. Before you sort of felt like you were in the parking lot and maybe in the right area, maybe not. We've actually separated because there might be a catering truck delivering to our picnic facilities. We actually took that, made a whole separate driveway and blocked off a lot of this. So it's an actual midway going into the park. So you actually start your experience here at the arch going in into the pool. So we're actually going in the side gate. Our guests will enter through the main gate. We're gonna go back around that way. I'm gonna take you into the main courtyard here and then back out just because we can't get through the park this way. Um, as you do walk into the park, you'll see we actually added a fountain in the front entrance. If you were here before, that was actually a flower statement. Uh, with the surfer there. This is actually now a fountain that will have a wave effect underneath the surfer. Um, nice part about it is that it was actually originally planned to go in when we first opened the park in 99. So the tube piping was actually already there to the mechanical building. Um, feel free to go around this way if you'd like. So more of what we did actually right behind us between Quartzside and Long Wipeout Surf Shop. You'll see there is a planter there. That was just a dead end of park space. Uh, concrete all the way through. We softened that area. This area was a mass expanse of just concrete going almost all the way to the Lazy River. Uh, we've added that into it. There will be new seating over in this area with red and white umbrellas, red tables going in here. So we've upgraded our seating. It's not there obviously because we have the equipment still in the park. And then we re-landscaped every single planter. The ones down the middle that had the bougainvillea, we have not planted them yet, but you can see from the roses and everything, those will be planted. So. We spent a lot of money on landscaping. One of the items that usually is skipped in a water park is something we really wanted to add to. The reason this bridge is blocked off is we've actually redone the walking surface over that, clean up the whole park. So besides our biggest focus being on onboards and the expansion of the two additional acres to get us to 15 acres, it was really we wanted to touch the whole property so it wasn't just the new area and everything was old and the same. So. We'll go ahead and head back out. We're going to go around the main gates and get to the other side of the park. If you have any questions, feel free to ask as we go. We're at the main entrance, back to the main entrance. reason I stopped here is to be consistent with what we've done at all the Cedar Fair properties. You see these two gazebos that are up here against the gate. Those will actually come out to where we're standing now. Uh, that'll be our increased safety and security measures. We will be doing metal detection here outside the park, just like the main park where we have the barricades coming around. They will go from the guest relations metal detection here in the middle including employees up to our other guest relations window so this will be where everybody will come through get screened before we actually go into the water park so that is the increase we're doing to be consistent like i said with all of our other cedar fair properties and knots itself and now we're going to continue all the way over across the way and then go into the park for the rest of the expansion now this is a part of the park you will actually never come into as a guest hopefully uh we really don't ever want you in this area we are on the far west side of the Lazy River. It's a third of a mile long Lazy River. There's two entrances on the far side, one from inside of an island on one on the outside walkway. Uh, the nice part of about the other entrance is it's right next to the expansion area. One of the questions that was brought up is, what do we do with all this water? Uh, it is all drained every year. And we work with the Orange County Sanitation District. We actually, all this water is reclaimed, taken back upstream in the Santa Ana Riverbed so it can percolate into the earth. One of the other things we do with it is out at the lagoon across the way, we annually clean that every fall. So what we'll do is actually dechlorinate the water here from the Lazy River. We'll actually put that into the sewer, which also goes up the stream, 
and then we will transfer this water into the lagoon every year. Yes. What do you do with the turtles that live in the lagoon? <laughs> One of our pools in the back, we actually transport the turtles and the fish over to that pool during that process. And then when we finish and stabilize that water back to their environment, then we move all the turtles and fish back over. Or we'll put some into uh, the one over at Mystery Lodge in the lake right there as well. We'll go ahead and continue and move on into the park. I mentioned earlier we touched the whole park besides the expansion. As you see to my left, your right, is all of the new furniture that we're actually assembling right now to put into the cabanas. We've upgraded all of our seating tables, lounge chairs in every single one of our cabanas in addition to adding 20 cabanas throughout the property. Uh, the large tower behind, you can see it's actually been re-gel coated and painted. It had been very faded. We've tried with the oxidation out here in California in the sun, it fades very quickly. We cleaned them a couple years ago and by midsummer it was already back to its old look. So those have been redone as well as the fun house that we're gonna go by. To my right, you'll also see a Coke building that is new it was also it was a snack shack before that'll be a coke refill to go with our refill that we have in the park and also to the right is an eight icy station so that is a new one we actually in the other rest of the park as we go through i'll show you some additional coke refreshes that we've added so we actually have added three into soap city this year uh, we'll go ahead and go right this way past the coke and icy refresh up to the front of the fun house behind me also you'll see where these uh, palm trees are, that's where we added additional, sh the shade structures were there and we added additional palms and planters for shade in that area. To our left is Grimmy Lagoon. Uh, that is the area for the smaller children. In that area you have slides, turtles, uh, dolphins, I'm sorry, whale, crabs, everything. They're soft toys that kids can play on, interactive elements. That is a zero entry pool. What it means is there's no lip, it's sort of like the ocean. You just slowly go in and it gets deeper. I believe it's only about a foot in the very middle. Um, to our right is Dick's Beach House. Um, give you a little history and I'll let you guys figure it out. You'll see it's now RK's Beach House. It was named after Dick, which was Richard Kinzel, so it was RK. However, it now is RK's Beach House and our uh, regional vice president is Rafi Kaprelian. So I'll let you guys decide, <laughs> connect the dots, who is RK? You guys gotta figure that one out on your own. <laughs> Uh, like I said, we've actually rethemed the whole beach house. Uh, we added new murals on there. It was pretty plain and simple. We've added the seascape on the bottom, surfboards, towels, and so forth, just to give it an overall enhancement besides painting the slides and the structure itself. Right in this area here, uh, this is now the longboards and the seating area we've talked about. This is the chain structure that's going up. They still have more sails that they're putting on. Uh, we have new tables and chairs going in this area, which are actually sitting over to the side under these pallets, and they're ready to go. And then here's the longboard itself, which is now, uh, we'll take you in there. It's actually a queue line where you'll be able to go in, have uh, freshly breaded chicken, strips, hamburgers, hot dogs, and so forth in there, and then come out. There is no actual dining area inside the location. It'll be under the shade structure or up on the promenade deck up there. In this area in the middle was cabanas. We have shifted those over. There were some over in this area. We've grouped them together back to back on this side. We also have had some cabanas to your left in the grass area. And we've opened that up to just general seating so any guests can go onto the grass and sit there. We found it very popular over at Grimmy Lagoon. People like to come and just lay out on the grass. So we've opened up more grass areas and we've added a large area over in the expansion as well. We'll go around these trucks so you can see the new cabanas that we'll go into a lot more. earlier that we have uh, three coke refreshes to your right is the second coke refresh behind the roll-up doors and that's also the location in the park where you'll be able to get beer too so it's a coke and beer that will be advertised as beer but it will be a coke refresh and as we go in through the center part you'll be able to go in and see the new interior of the longboards what we did is we actually doubled the size of longboards uh, and expanded it quite a bit we added a whole new employee area break area inside for them as well as a location for them to go inside and get meals as well on this side of the park so we'll go right inside we'll let you take any photos you want um, i'm asking that you actually stay on the right side of the building only because we still have guys playing cabling on the left side
cafeteria. You'll either queue up in here, either side left or right. Come along, uh, pick up your trays. This will be the hot food line with cold at the very end. We have condiment stands at either end. So for like the hamburgers, you'll put your own tomato, lettuce, mustard, ketchup on. We will just sell you the tiny hamburger for cheeseburger. And then you will add the condiments as you like. We came in on the right hand side and it's only the right hand side that has it. We actually have an express lane over here on the right. One of the things we want to do in the future is do mobile ordering. Uh, so you'll actually do your ordering out there and then come and just pick your items up on this side. The other part is we have some cold uh, refrigerators that will walk past by the point of sale on your way out. So you can come in here and just grab a snack and go out or also just get a Coke refill or a soda in here. So that's the reason why this right hand side has an express lane and the left does not. So it isn't something we've activated yet with the uh, uh, mobile ordering, but that is something we want to do. So we've kind of head for that on this right hand side of the restaurant. We'll go ahead and go out this way through the doors. So now right behind me, we are at the expansion area of the park. Uh, about five feet behind me was parking lot back in September that we used all the way through Scary Farm. And then we started our demo on October 31st with tearing out Pacific Spin. Uh, right behind us is at the third Coke refresh station. And when we go in, you're gonna see another building looking similar to that. That's about the only item left in the expansion area from the old ride. That was the mechanical building that we reused for the family wrap ride, which is the tall ride on the right. The pool was replaced with a new pool. Well, it had to, it actually switched in a different location. So that's the only thing that was left from here. Um, and then you can actually see the rides to the right hand side is where our cabanas will be going. These are the 20 additional cabanas. One of the things I didn't mention is we do have cabana service with food and drinks and all of that will be served out of the back side of longboards. We've actually opened up the back area for a cabana pickup for drinks, uh, everything there, the food. We used to have to separate it, pick up our pizza over here and the rest of the food over there. We've actually added ovens, pizza ovens into longboards as well. So we have complete service out of there. We won't serve pizza out of longboards, but it will be for the cabana so everything gets to our guests a lot quicker. Um, at this point of the show, this usually doesn't happen. Penn's done talking. Tell her my sidekick over here is actually gonna take over. Uh, because this is his baby, these are all the slides, this is his operation, and I'm gonna let him walk you through this and tell her he's actually gonna talk. All right, yeah, let, let's go ahead and get in. As was previously mentioned, we added uh, seven new attractions. We have our family wrap, which will have a greater capacity than the attraction that was, uh, that it replaced, uh, which will be a nice experience for our guests, being that they'll be able to uh, experience more attractions. Uh, we were pretty heavy loaded on the south side of the park, so this should help level out uh, the, the guest experience. We'll be placing some seating right here in front of the cabanas. And as you can see, we've uh, spared no expense with uh, the increased landscaping throughout this uh, new area and the entryway to the park. We don't have any activity today up at this tower here so if you guys would like to go visit a tower and get some great photo shots we can go ahead and uh, visit a tower so this is our shore break tower we have two platforms the lower platform is the tube slide and the upper platform will be our body drop slides and all the feedback i'm getting right now is these two are fast in comparison to a lot of the other tube slides and I rode them last night and I can concur they are nice and quick once we get to the top platform you guys the existing park great photo ops and you really get a truer feel for everything that we have done to the park From the top, you can really see, especially that blue one, how clear it is. So as the guests are coming through, yeah. and then the yellow or the orange as you're walking in the entryway, both of those give you good. Yeah, you can 
Red's gonna go down. On, uh, I have the control. I have the control. So the nice part about us getting these after some of our sister parks is Kings Island, Carowinds, they already have this ride at their park. Okay. Valley Fair. If you go Valley Fair. However, they only have three of the aqua launches and they actually have three of the tube slides. So that's the change that we happened this year. It's happening here and also Cedar Point is that we have four of these because these proved to be the much more popular attraction of them. Uh, yeah. So that was one change from those now, parks to this year being the are, are the ones that the other parks, are they see-through on the platform too? Or are they solid? Uh, I know I, Kings Island is see-through, okay. but I have not seen any of the other ones. Worlds of Fun, I don't think so because I think they have the first generation. Okay, so yeah. I know Kings Island does though. Okay. Instructions. And then we'll go ahead and hit one of the the two buttons here to launch them. There will be a countdown from three, two, one, and then the floor will drop away from them, and they in turn will take off. Thank you. Now, is that from the countdown to the drop? Is that all automated, or do you, do the operators have to push another button to actually physically drop you? So, like when it goes three, two, one, does yeah, it we auto have to drop? Keep, we have to keep our, our fingers on the buttons. But I mean like when it actually, after the countdown, do they push a button to drop you or does after the countdown it automatically? It automatically. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's 